Hi, one for Romans brings you the best. Please kindly subscribe to the channel. Your comment and all likes will be highly appreciated. Today, we are taking a look at what happened before this great guy we are talking about, Senzo Meyua, was murdered. Why are we doing so? This month we are talking about October is a month in 2014 that Senzo Meyua was murdered right in the home of his then girlfriend, Kelly Kumelo. So let's take a look at the chronological order or maybe we may miss some few things here and there how things happened on that fateful day in 2014 when Senzo Meyua was sadly murdered. You know, it was just a normal day that a man or a young man, a young promising man, a married man, he yeah, went to visit his side chick or girlfriend then, Kelly Kumelo. And it seems it's something that is usually do. Maybe he will go there, spend the night over there, and leave the following day or two days later. That one we don't know. But that fateful day, he went there. Life was normal. They went out, they bought uh, things for themselves, including soup. Yeah, that was one aspect that we found very, very sad. Why? Because, you know, you are with your lady. At least there should be some cooking here and there in the house that you may have your food. But at the end, they have to step out and buy soup for themselves. Maybe they want that great soup that day. They went and they bought that. They returned home safely and life was going on normally. Yes, but when it got to 9 p.m. that day, it was reported or alleged that there was a robbery. And now they are tagging it or at a the point they tag it that it was a robbery that went wrong. Yes, the court is still ongoing. We cannot prejudge what will come out from the court. The court is still ongoing. So we are leaving that aspect to the court. We will just tell you everything chronologically or even mean some things here and there for your understanding because we are just talking about the life of Senzo Meiwa. Very promising guy. He was very helpful to his family. He was a breadwinner of his family. You know, when it comes to football in Africa, once you are good at what you do, you can be able to earn enough and even extend help to your family member because we practice the extended family all over the place. It's these days that things are changing. So maybe he was of help to his family as well. He was a breadwinner of the family. And you know, after the death of Senzo Meyua, you know, there was all manner of lamentations here and there. Even the people, some people in the community that were interested in football and things, he was helping them. But unfortunately, this vibrant young man lost his life sadly in that tragic moment. So the investigation commenced since then. We are talking about 2014, but uh, today, justice is yet to serve. He is in his grave and he is not yet able to get justice. So the wheel of justice is still grinding, though unfavorably. We are hoping that one day, this young man will get justice and his family can also be saved and be happy. Yes, the mom is still out there. Yes, you know, 10 years after the death of your, your son, you cannot point at this so-so and so person or you cannot get rest or closure to the case. It's not an easy thing. The father died as a result of agony and sadness and he died a sad man. Yeah, because if your brother or your son that you are hoping to bury or to be alive to bury was taken down by a gun, if it's some sickness, some boy or something, that one, you know that it's something that happened by this one. The life person or someone that was alive, the next meeting or the next minute, you are hearing that he's out of this wicked world. That was what happened. Yes, yeah, so now the case has been on. And now as we speak, what we are picking is Auntie Kelly Kumelo. You know, she's here to enter the door, but she's been the main mastermind. Allegedly, yeah, that is what the, maybe the facts and figures before the people or the allegations or the evidences, those are what they are pointing out to. Now, what's surprising as well is the issue and arrest, arrest warrant for her, yes. But till today, we are hearing that they are here to sign that arrest warrant, yes. The one that is supposed to sign for it to be executed, that person is here to sign it. Maybe they are just waiting on the time or they are waiting for the right time to sign that warrant for her to be picked up or whatever it is is about the court is a court that will be said but she need to have a day you know all manner of things happen prior to that or she being declared in even even in 2015 we heard a report that there was a gun that was found or that can be attributed to the crime of the murder of senzo Meyua. even that one was as a result of someone that was even arrested in different instances or different incidents that they realized that not there may be some resemblance when it comes to the gun that was used during that day you know they call all manner of gun they call the gun of Chico Twala also because his son was there long with Twala his name keep on recurring coming all the time and one thing also is there was a report or allegedly there was a report that some of the photos or pictures that were seen on the phone of Kelly Kumelo were also seen 
on the phone of Longwe Tola, who happened to be the son of Chico Tola. Chico wasn't at the scene. Yes, that one is established. You always speak about it, and we know that. But his name keep on coming as a result of his son being present or whatever. This is an adult, so he will be dealt with as an adult. Even if, if one day he's supposed to present himself in court, he will be there as an adult, and he will be tried as a... But for the records, he's now going, he's even going <laughs> under a different trial as a result of Theft. Yes, he went and broke into his father's home. So long with Tola, he's in that agony over there and he's awaiting trial and the process is still ongoing as this great one is also ongoing. So now, but one sad aspect is something that we realize about this whole case when the, the, the incident took place or happened. Yes, even the crime scene was claimed by someone, was claimed by someone and that was tantamount to something like tempering with whatever happened or tempering with evidence we don't know how the court is going to go about that but they are their technicians or they are the people they are the gurus they are the people with the technical know-how to be able to tell us that this plus this plus that to be equal to this we are open on that but as we speak but five people are going on trial they are still on trial the all manner of allegations are going all over the place these are not the people the main people are here, here and there but as i said already they are fingering or saying that someone happened to be the master mother as auntie kelly kumelo but they are here to arrest her because they've issued the arrest warrant but the arrest warrant is here to be signed yes when it comes to the legalese or things about the law you know they do things step by step maybe at the right time she may be called or at the right time she may they may even say that they don't need her to be able to nail the people that happen to be the criminals here yeah, you know the communication expert or the experts that have been called those that are needed even the, those that are good when it comes to tracking of vehicles yeah because they realized that long with Tola was in a car that day and moved here and there so they brought in people all the technical people to be able to arrive at a very good and very great conclusion as we speak you know the case is still ongoing the twists and turns and things like the stories keep on changing here and there but you know when it comes to the wheel of justice this is how it grinds slowly but maybe one day Senzo Mayua is going to get justice here. He left behind a wife that he was married to and children. We are talking about one from Auntie Kelly Kumelo and one from the other lady. Yeah, he lived a very genuine and good life. He went to his girlfriend's home. By the end, though he drove into that home, he was driven out of that home in a different car. Sadly, that day, or even his own car, but he was taken, he wasn't able to drive because he was hurt, and at the end, he was declared dead that faithful day so may the life and the soul of this great car we are talking about senzu may you are rest in perfect peace but not until justice is served for him we are praying and hoping for that because that is what we are all looking up to though things are going here and there but when it comes to legalism or the legal issues you may not be able to comprehend it but they are driving home a point let's hope and pray that one day Senzo Mayua will get justice so that the mom at least may hear about the word justice or favorable justice for her son before if she will join her ancestors she will do so. She's still in pain and she even stopped following the case. That is what we are picking. That is how sad it is because you can't live for so long this way. 10 years and the wheel of justice is grinding slowly. The question some of us always ask is if this is happening to Senzo Mayua how much more you and I that is why we need to be very careful out there. If you're not supposed to be at a point at a, at a time, don't be there. Stay at where you have to be so that you'll be safe. Please, for more about discussions and things like this, this is about the life and the story of Senzu Mayua. May his soul continue to rest in perfect peace. Please, for more, kindly subscribe to this channel. One Forum News for the best when it comes to security and crime for the best when it comes to politics of Africa and historical antecedents will be right here to bring you the best. Your comments and your likes will be highly appreciated. May the life and the soul of Senzu Mayua rest in perfect peace. Thank you so much. And kindly subscribe to this channel, One Forum News. Thank you.